At this point, put all your ingredients into the bowl, your sugar, lemon juice, and your egg yolk and whole eggs. Make sure you get everything in there. And last will be the lemon zest. And once everything's in there, take out a whisk and whisk everything together until they are well combined. Once everything is well combined, remove it and place your pot of water on the stove and turn your stove to medium. And take the whisk and continue whisking your ingredients until it becomes thickened. It will take a little bit longer or, or a while, but just be patient. how beautiful it is it has become thickened and this is the consistency that you're looking for and once you have reached this point you can remove it from the pot of water the consistency is very thick and kind of chunky and you'll be like, oh my gosh, did I do something wrong? Cause it doesn't look right and it doesn't look appealing. But don't worry about it. It looks like this because you haven't added in your butter yet. Now you can go ahead and add in your chunks of butter. Continue to stir until all the butter has melted into the lemon curd. And once everything is well combined, the consistency will look very silky and it will look super delicious. butter has melted into the lemon curd the consistency of the lemon curd will become very silky and that is what you're looking for so as soon as everything has melted uh, make sure you put it in a strainer right away and strain out the lemon curd and you want to take all the big chunks and just throw them away
once everything is in the strainer, use a spatula to help push everything down. And as I mentioned before, once everything goes through, uh, you can go ahead and discard any big chunks, which that will be the lemon zest that you put in at the beginning. Look at how silky and delicious the lemon curd looks. It just looks amazing and that's how it should be. And once you get everything through the, the strainer, you will transfer everything into a mason jar and you can leave it in the fridge overnight and it will be ready for you to use the next morning. Or if you don't plan to use it the next morning, it can stay in the fridge for the next three, four days and it will still be good.